I'm not kidding. I've just spent seven hours of my life watching a woman eat water with a fork. It was the most inspirational, the most exciting, the most thrilling. It was like watching Game of Thrones, Battle of the Bastards. You just did not know what was around the corner. OMG. Oh my golly, goodness gracious me. This woman is the elite specimen. Her name, Emily something. Extra Emily. Oh my God. Albert Einstein did relativity or something. Uh, that guy, an apple fell on his head and he did gravity. But no one quite has completed life like this lady right here she has managed to drink water with a fork for seven hours of her life she reached 140 subs she got to change fork which was very kind of them they got her over that so marching on together lads that's absolutely fantastic to hear i was wondering who is this lady i gave five minutes research and got bored that's no disrespect i'm very boring as well extra emily but she seems to be a twitch streamer but also a musician it said somewhere oh her instagram's just thotty we can't do is a chinese american twitch streamer i saw she got banned for uh, texting whilst driving as well which is kind of hilarious she just does nonsense yeah here look she got banned for texting during stream what in a fool imagine committing a crime and then getting caught but never mind filming it you know when i shoot people and do drive-bys i didn't make sure no one films it god damn but what i really wanted to touch on is this nonsense here now if you have kept your ears to the ground you know that juice world is obviously rip what a great man somehow he's still pumping out music now i notice all the time i get recommended new juice world and i'm like how is this guy still pumping stuff up and then that reminds me he's not dead he just like tupac has gone to uh cuba or something like that in his hiding juice world knew too much bro he saw what hollywood was like and said nah fuck this shit dog i'm out but this woman here he wrote a song called all girls are the same and now you know where it came from ali lottie obviously juice world's ex girlfriend recently sold his watch because she was broke or something like that so she sold his watch got money for it which i think is disgusting um and then she's gone and done this now i'm quoting i've not said this ali lotti the plotty who stinks like fucking scotty fuck it leaking my sex tape hackers keep threatening me to leak my old sex tapes which to me just sounds like an excuse who's hacking this lady here you know no one's going all right this irrelevant ex-girlfriend of juice world i was going to call her a widow i'm not sure you can call her that can you but she's practically a widow let's hack her fucking sex tapes and let's see her, her shagging her ex now i believe that is juice world there i've not googled it although i have got a spare half an hour after this so i'll let you know in the comment section down below what it was like all jokes aside i am so fucking done i dig her out that's I don't give a fuck. Sending it out myself. Emoji emoji was some of the best black dick I ever got. Oh god, I read that so cheerfully, but not having like pre-read it. You know what I mean? I didn't get this far when I started reading it. Check your DMs to see unsending this forever tonight. Poor guy just can't get a break. I mean, even when he's passed and he's gone to a better place or he's gone to Cuba, whichever you think, he is still getting bum fondled by these females here. So these female specimens clearly need studying and exploiting because we need to find a cure for this sort of thottiness i don't know what it is they seem to find that covid jab real quick i'm, I'm surprised it's taken them so long to get get this cat out of the bag all jokes aside though ali lottie's just clearly a bit deluded and i'm actually really quite upset that something like this has uh come out and shall we say she is doing this i mean let the guy live in peace even at, you know he was a troubled man if you listen to some of his music i like a few juice world songs he's clearly not all there in the head though he obviously depressed and got a few issues and then to do this man he'll he'll resurrect just to write another song about it i mean it's terrible it's shocking that she's done this i already hated daddy lotty after finding a new man and then giving all his clothes to him freely yeah see what the actual frick this is so disgusting and is straight up disgusting and disrespectful af i don't care this shit pees me off too right but let's just get this straight this woman was <clears throat> irrelevant before juice world i'm pretty sure i never heard of her now he's gone she's basically ruined it she'd go on stage and look each other in the eyes that's cute but yeah selling leaked tapes of these two like you must be off your head how can you not respect him slightly and have no shame about that like that's fucking outrageous man it's outrageous and it seriously pisses me off that even when he's gone he doesn't have control of the content like surely juice world's estate probably his family's parents someone like that can now sue uh and get her in trouble you know you can't do that if you need a bit of money i'm sure got something like get a job she's just had this little you know experience of money and wealth and looking after um you know being by juice world's side that she's basically doesn't want to work for the rest of her life and now needs money and she thinks only fans is the only solution it's deluded one last thing i wanted to do on today's uh bound up and truth be told i don't really know what these videos are but if you like the sort of like multiple things a video let me know down below i'm just trying to like keep them entertaining and i feel dragging out one topic is sort of like when you're on the uh, last slice of toast and you cut it in quarters hoping it will last you sort of four days you know it's, it's not going to work mate you should just eat it all but this bloke right here we got that guy from the new transformers 
which was utter dog shit. And we got Bella Ramsey, who was obviously in The Last of Us, who, which was, I thought, pretty good. Although she is a little bit more to convince me on Ellie, just personal opinion. Again, I, I love the video game one, which is my fault, probably. But we're going to watch this clip. It's Ryan Reynolds accepting the best song because he now knows he has to go sing in front of hundreds of people the Ken song. Look at him, he did the meme, he's like, no, no way, please, not me. How have I won this? No, no. Accepting on behalf of I'm Just Ken from Barbie are writers Mark Ronson and Andrew Wyatt and performer Ryan Gosling. That's amazing, isn't it? He was not expecting that and did not want to win it. Imagine that. Now you've got to go sing in front of the crowd. I am Ken. I wonder what they were against. So you got... Uh... Oh, God, why is there so many? One best costume. How the fuck? Barbie. Ugh, it's pathetic. They just want to give it to Barbie because it's like the woman's film, isn't it? The best woman's film of like ever. Which is great. Well done, women. I'm so proud of you for bringing out a film where you all wear pink. Oh, wait a break the stereotype. <laughs> Destroying the stereotypes. Anyway, what was I looking for? I'm distracted. All right, we're just going to read them here. I was hoping it was just a bit quick. So you got Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. And Super Mario, baby. Peaches, God, Peaches should have won. That's so annoying. How's Peaches not won? I'm just Ken. Anyway, I've not seen, yeah, I can't remember the song, but Peaches, I know, is an absolute belter that I will have on my playlist and it's actually my ringtone. But yeah, a couple topics to there. Are you a weirdo who eats water with a fork? Hopefully not. Ryan Gosling does not want to sing this live and all girls are the same.